You've got this. You can have fun while presenting. Presentations give you headaches? The good news is you can train your presentation muscle like it's any other part of the body. I have seven steps right here to help you do that. Let's fire through them together. Tip number one, what is your topic? Presentation coming up? Preparation is key. I would only really advise you to trust yourself if you're familiar enough with your content. If you need a script, write one and always be ready for questions. Questions are a good sign of an engaged audience. Tip number two, reframe your thoughts. Replace, I'm nervous with, I'm excited, or this is terrifying with, this is an experiment. This mental shift gives you the self-empowerment and headspace you need to let your creativity and inner critic coexist. Only then you can truly be your authentic self. Tip three, move your body. There is one little exercise that will help you with presenting. Stretch and pulsate your arms out as wide, high, then as low as you can. Doing this will boost your energy, increase your confidence, get your blood moving, and even help you look a few inches taller. Tip four, pause before you speak. It sounds paradoxical, right? Well, the act of pausing is my secret weapon as an introvert. Pausing helps you to gather your thoughts, be in control, speak more articulately, and control your breathing. Professional singers also use this trick to give more capacity to their voices. Tip number five, liberate yourself from PowerPoint slides. There are many online tools available to help take your slides to the next level. Visuals can be a nice distraction from any lack of confidence. Your audience might actually pay attention to your ideas and conveniently miss any awkward moments or lack of eye contact. Tip six, dress for success. You don't want to look sloppy when pitching to the executive team or overdress in front of your colleagues. Depending on the context, dig out your power blazer or your favorite jeans and t-shirt. Sometimes the clothes do make the difference. And tip number seven, humor, the secret ingredient. There is no such thing as a perfect presentation. Stop looking for it. But just like cooking a meal, you'll always want to season it for maximum flavor. The best seasoning of the presentation world is humor. Presentations are more engaging when the audience is having fun, and more importantly, when you are enjoying it. So, next time you go to present something, have a look over these seven tips again. They've been working really well for me, and I promise you, they'll become your best friends as well. In time, you'll feel more empowered, confident, and at ease while you're presenting. I wish you the very best of luck.